I think about living in a city and how your experience of living in that city would be in 10 or 15 years. You've got places like Chicago where they're being hugely innovative and they're taking massive data sets, combining them in interesting ways, running interesting algorithms on them and figuring out ways that they can intervene in this system to sort of see patterns and be able to react to those patterns. When you take in data, it, it affects you as an individual, and then you affect the system, and that affects the data again. And this round trip that you start to see yourself part of makes me understand that I'm an actor in a larger system. For instance, if you know by looking at the data, and you have to put different data sets together to be able to see this, that some of the street lights, you know, when they go out, they cause higher crime in that particular block. You start to see ways that if you can query that data in intelligent ways, that you can prioritize the limited resources that you have in a city to take care of the things that have, you know, follow-on effects and follow-on costs. In the end, you know, you're going to hope that this is just our reaction as a species to this scale problem, right? How do you get another, you know, two billion people on the planet? You can't do it unless you start instrumenting every little thing and dialing it in just right. You know, right now you wait for the bus because the bus is coming on a particular schedule. And it's great. We're now at the point where your phone will tell you when the bus is really coming, not just when the bus is scheduled to come. You know, take that a little bit forward. What about when there's more use on one line than the other? Well, instead of sticking with the schedule, does the system start to understand that um, maybe this route doesn't need 10 buses today and automatically shift those resources over the lines where the buses are full.